Hi, good morning. It's Saturday, uh, the 5th of November. Not, no, the 6th of November, excuse me. <laughs> Yesterday was the 5th. Uh, today's the 6th of November, uh, 2021. Hope everybody had a good week. Um, I had a good week at work. Like I said, the guy that I work with, he, um, he's went on vacation. He's going to see, celebrate his grandkids, uh, first birthday, I think. So he went to Atlanta, him and his wife. Okay, so he should be back to work on Wednesday. So Thursday and Friday, you know, it was just me and the other guy that actually works next door. He was helping, so which is good. Okay, and, you know, people were coming back to work this week. So we saw more people because I did go upstairs, you know, to deliver some things. And I did see more people in the building and stuff. And the work did pick up uh, somewhat, but uh, still not, you know, back to levels of what it was pre-pandemic. Because we used to get like 30, sometimes 30, 35 jobs a day, you know. And we worked from seven in the morning to, excuse me, uh, seven at night. We're still working eight to five. So, and there was this big job we were supposed to get, like these medical books that they wanted us to to get out by um, the ninth. I think they wanted us to mail them there by the ninth. But apparently, uh, you know, I and I told the girl, you know, when we emailed her back that we should get the books by the the first, which was Monday, so we can get them out this week. You know. It's like 215 books, so we can get them out, you know, so uh, by the 9th, which is, I think is a Tuesday, so we would have to mail them on Monday, but, and I emailed her back, and she told me that she, you know, that she still work, they were still working with the client to get the books, that was on Wednesday, and she didn't send anything Wednesday night, or Thursday, or even Friday, so I don't want to come on Monday, and then she has the books, and say, okay, here you go, you basically got one day to get 215 books done and mailed, Said no, you. I gave you a week, and your client. If your clients, you know, this is not a, you know, you got to tell them. And I told my boss, and, and she, you know, she was saying, oh well, did they agree to overtime? I said, screw this. I I wasn't working overtime. Okay, even if she sent the books on Wednesday night or Thursday or even Friday, I was. I'm not coming there on Saturday to do no overtime. Okay, like I said, I'm willing to work overtime. The thing is. Let me explain something about my company because the previous company, outsourced company, I worked for Williamsley. Uh, they had, you know, they approved overtime and it wasn't that big a deal. You know, you say you worked overtime and you got, you know, they were charged the company, the parent company. But apparently the new company, C&W, they promised them that to limit, I guess, the overtime and stuff. And so they made the getting overtime so complicated that you got to fill out so much paperwork and stuff that, you know, they're kind of discouraging, you know, you to work overtime. And that's exactly what they do. That's why we don't work because before it used to be real simple, you know, you just filled out a thing and and get the charge code and then they would charge them back, you know, charge, you know, MMC back. But now I think they see in W, they work that deal out. That's, I think, why they won the contract. They told them they would limit the overtime and they wouldn't charge the company, but they would pay, you know. Uh, but I think, it, but it, like I said, anyway, I wasn't coming to, I was going to work uh, this Saturday anyway, because, you know, I'm going to, to movies today to see the Eternals. And, but I was, you know, if you, you know, I was willing to stay during the week if if need be, you know, that just the overtime they made the overtime so complicated with the paperwork and stuff that you don't want to work overtime. They make it where you have to basically send out an email through a system to get approval, and then people send it overtime the code back through the system, and it, and it's just they make it too difficult, and they, uh, I think on purpose so you don't do overtime. But anyway, um, uh, back to enough of that but work-wise like I said I I handled it between me and the other guy who helped was helped a lot Gary who helped a lot you know so we got got through the week which is good so like I said it's two more days in in uh Mark who works you know he'll be back from his vacation on Wednesday and stuff because I think he just went down there on I think they flew down there Thursday and then they're supposed to stay Thursday Friday I think thir uh no flew out on Thursday say Thursday Friday Saturday, and then I think fly back on I think on Monday or something and then, you know he gets an extra day, yeah you know recover that's that's what we I I did too when I went on vacation I think I um came back we came back on that Monday, and uh we flew back on that Monday then I took Tuesday off and then come back work on Wednesday which is good you know you gonna need a day back to recover from your flight and all that stuff vacation but anyway. Like I said, so, th so today, mm, I'm going to do, uh, see, go to the Eternals. And I didn't know this movie, like two hours and 37 minutes. That's almost, 
this Eternals, uh, and I heard about the not so great, like it's the lowest rated uh, uh, Marvel movie, whatever. But you know, I'm still, I still want to see it because, like I said, I like the cast and it looks interesting. And I want to see exactly you know what the after credit scene is, and then you know, and like I said, primarily I like the cast and stuff, and it looks like Richard Madden, Angelina Jolie is in it, and a bunch of guys and uh, actors in there that I like. So definitely got interested in seeing you know how this movie is exactly and how it connects to the MCU and all that stuff. So I'm definitely going to see it. I think there's 11.30 showing and then there's like a 12.30. I want to try to see leave here at like 10.15 to go see the 11.30 showing. So that way I can be out of the theaters. Oh yeah, speaking of uh, theaters, I think, what was the last movie? This When I saw the James Bond movie, I think that was the last movie I saw in theaters. Was it? Yeah. But anyway, I think they had like a, I think literally like a half hour of previews. I'm, I'm, I'm serious. It's just... I said, this is ridiculous. Uh, you know, I don't mind seeing previews, like maybe 10 minutes of previews, but like a half hour of previews was re absolutely ridiculous. I said, oh my God. I I, I, didn't, I realized that when, you know, we were waiting for it to come on, you know, because that, that was the most people I saw in the theater, you know, you know, for the James Bond movie. And we were waiting. I said, okay, preview, preview, and more preview, kept calling, and more previews, and then more preview. I said, oh my God. And then I looked at my watch. I said, oh my, this is like a half hour of previews. Because I think the movie was supposed to start like at 11.30 or something. And then I don't think the preview stopped until like almost 12 o'clock. And I said, oh my God, this is like 20 something minutes of, of freaking previews. I said, this is that's absolutely ridiculous. And I know John Campia, who I watch, you know, of AMC fame, he, he said, yeah, yeah, nobody wants to see sit there for a half hour of previews. That's ridiculous. Because I, I know it's implied that the movie doesn't start at 11.30, although I kind of wish it would when they say, or say at least say 11, if, say 11, say the movie starts 11 previews over by 11.15 or 11.10 or something like that. That would be more truth in advertising, but just, come on, man. They just, a half hour of pre, I did, I, I, that's what I wanted to mention. I, I didn't mention that when I did my review of James Bond, but I, I just thought about that now when I was thinking about, you know, going to see Eternals. Uh... It was literally like a, almost a half hour of previews. And I said, oh my freaking God. Because I kept waiting for the previews to end and the movie to start. But they kept going on and then on and then on again. I said, oh my God. And then I looked at my watch, which I normally don't do until they like the end. And I said, oh my God, this is a half hour of previews. I said, that is absolutely ridiculous. <laughs> I should have made a video about it. I didn't, because I, I completely forgot about it, you know, because I saw the, you know, when I saw the movie and I, I really enjoyed it, but I had forgot about those almost half hour of previews when I saw the James Bond movie, and I said, "This is freaking ridiculous." Okay, but anyway, uh, back to serious things. Oh yeah, uh, so I'm gonna see uh, Eternals, uh, and that should be it's about two hours and a half hours. So I'm gonna say it should be over like eleven one two hours. That's one thirty. Should be a little uh, uh, after two o'clock. It should be finished, <laughs> and I should get up, head back up town by like three and. I should hopefully get back into the house uh, uh, a little bit after four or something. I, you know, I'll, I'll go movie shopping since I'm out. I'll go food shopping and stuff. I gotta probably come back to the house and and, uh, and get my uh, shirts and stuff and put them in the cleaners and stuff and pick up my other shirts from the cleaners and stuff and get back in the house a little bit after four. I have Doom Patrol. I watched it uh, yesterday. I or at least I recorded my reaction to it. I gotta edit it on my phone. Uh, I'll do that when I come back. I'll edit it and upload it. Uh, right now, I'm waiting for um, my Star Girl review of episode thirteen, the finale. It should it got blocked currently, of course. I appeal it, so it should be either getting uh, uh, appeal it, so it should be made public. I gotta check and see if it's public now, or because usually it takes. Normally, it, with those CW shows, it usually just takes one day. But the last time I did, the last one I did, it took like two days, which normally is not the case with the CW shows, but. I'm gonna see if it's uh if it's public now, and you know I make a post about that so people know that it's public. My reaction to that, and then after, like I said, Doom Patrol has one more episode to go for the season, and then it's gonna, and so what I'm gonna do is uh after that, because then I'll have no more shows to react to, but the Flash starts on the 16th. Now they're gonna have like five a special five episode arc to begin the season, so I'll start reacting to the Flash. That's what I'll start doing. I'll start reacting to the Flash. Because like I said, Stargirl has ended. 
And Doom Patrol is going to end after next week. And then I think The Flash starts the week after on the 16th. So I'm going to start reacting to The Flash, Season 8. Like I said, hopefully, like I said, The Flash will, this season, you know, because The Flash has really gone downhill for the past couple of seasons. And so I'm hoping this season, you know, will improve it a little bit. And I'm trying to think what else comes after The Flash. Because Superman and Lois, I don't think it's going to start till early next year. Uh, maybe help. Hopefully, like I said, Superman and Lois is my, my favorite new show, so hopefully that will start. So I'll, and I'm waiting for Harley Quinn to come back too. That's another show that I'll definitely be reacting to, Harley Quinn. Because, and and what I might do, because I I think I still have those episodes on my computer. There was a couple of like the last few episodes of season, uh, is it season two? I think of season two of Harley Quinn that I have on my computer that I reacted to. Uh, so I may upload those to my patron. I think I... Did I put them on my... I'm trying to think if I put those on my computer or not. Uh, the unedited versions. I don't think I did on my uh, YouTube channel, on this channel. I think I, I have... I reacted to them, but I saved them on my computer. I don't think I uh, edited them. Because normally I used to edit... Back then, I used to edit my TV show reactions on my computer there, which was incredibly slow. Because especially with the like normal episodes of things... Uh, it used to take forever to, and a day for it to render and for me to, and and first of all the files were too big and then me rendering took for like like two hours to edit them and it's easier to do it on my computer because I can do them on my uh, on my computer on my phone uh, to record the reaction on my phone you know play it on my uh, iPad and record it my reaction on my phone and edit it on my iPhone 11 here and it's easier. That's why, like I said, I don't hardly use my web camera anymore. I record most things on my phone because it's I can record in, like I said, 1080p, which is nice high definition, okay, which is another bonus. Uh, nice and 1080p on my phone. I mean, no, yeah, no, I record, yeah, I can record my reaction on my phone and then render it, the, you know, uh, and usually what I do is the, the videos I put on my Patreon, I record those in 720, but the uh, edited reactions that I put on my uh, this channel, I, rec I record them in 1080p. So you get a nice high definition. You get the standard version, which YouTube gives you, and then you get the high definition version, which is you know 1080p, which is good. I didn't realize that until, you know, I, I you know it took me a little slow on that. <laughs> I figured it, 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 you can record in 1080p, which is nice standard, you know, high definition for like big screens for big, you know, people watch it on their TV. Like for me, I use my television as my monitor. Uh, so you get, get a nice record, you know, get it recorded in nice 1080p, which is good. Uh, and maybe I'll record, so I want to record something in 4K just to see how how the quality is. That's, so I may do that, but some down the, down the road. But anyway, after, like I said, after next week, because yeah, because next week, the only show that I'll be reacting to is going to be Doom Patrol. Because Stargirl ended this week, uh, season two, and so I have no shows until, like I said, The Flash, which starts on the 16th, and they have a nice five-episode guest star arc with a lot of guest stars and stuff, and I'm hoping this season, God willing, is better than the previous seasons, because last season was brutal, That especially the first half of last season, with those forces, oh my God, they... I know they have a black showrunner, Eric Wallace, and I don't want to see anybody lose their jobs, but... Come on, if I was CW, I'd tell this guy, listen, you got to improve. I don't care what you have to do. If you have to bring in different writers or whatever you have to do, you got to improve the show because the flat, or else we're going to end it. Be or, or we're going to fire you and get a new showrunner. Okay, because this is, I'm sorry. It's just the flash has really gone downhill uh, in the past couple of seasons. It just really has. And it's, it's a shame because now we don't have Cisco. That, that actor left the show, which I'm really sad about because I loved uh the actor that played Cisco, and then also, um, I wasn't a big proponent of the guy that played Ralph. I know he had those, those um, those posts in the past and stuff. Uh, so he got fired because of that, even though that he didn't do it when he was on the show. And I, I, in the, and firstly, if it was me, and I, I would, you know, let him apologize, and pull down the tweets, and I would have kept him on the show. I would, I would have, because if he didn't act that way on the show and to the people casting people. I would have kept him on the show. This they make him issue a public apology and said about you know 
about my past behavior and all that other stuff and then just let him continue on because I, I I really like the actor and it's a shame that basically this actor has got, I forgot his name, I'm, I'm sorry about that. He's basically been blackballed from the industry it looks like because I don't remember him in anything. I don't know, I don't see he's been in anything since that whole you know, fiasco with the previous tweets came out. Uh, he's not been in anything which is a shame and I thought maybe they, they might do what they could have done is could do it like a spinoff between him and the actress that played um, Sue, whatever her name, his wife in the comic books, like a long native man, which is what his character is. They could have done a nice spinoff because he was Hart Hartley Sawyer. I think that's his name. Hartley Sawyer. That was his name. Uh, like I said, I think he's basically in blackball, which is a really a shame. I hate the people to get, you know, especially for the past behavior, get hey, basically he gets nobody gets a second chance. Because uh, look what happened with the James Gunn situation. You know, when he got fired initially, then he got rehired and stuff. And he, he got hired by uh, Warner Brothers to do Suicide Squad. We got the great Suicide Squad movie that came out. And and now he's going to do uh, uh, Guardians of the Galaxy 3. So he got redeemed for it. So why couldn't you do that for Hartley Sawyer? This, like I said, let him issue the apology. And I would have kept him on the show. I definitely would have. Because I think he's one of the best things, a part of the Flash show. Yeah, him. I liked his chemistry with... Uh, with um, Barry and, and the other cast members, and it's a shame. He's basically been blackballed, and I hate that people to do that, or canceled, as people say. Uh, I would have, exactly, that's what I would have done. I would have, if I was a CW, you know, have some balls and just say, listen, let him, make him issue a public apology, say I took down the tweets and I apologize for that past behavior. I thought I was being funny when it, it was really being hurtful to other people and stuff, and I apologize for that, and going forward, I'm gonna try to be the best version of myself and moving forward, and thank you for the CW for having faith in me, and and I would have moved forward, and then moved forward, and kept them on the show because I I'm serious. I as a black man and person of color and stuff, you know I hate when people you know you know make fun of black people and stuff, but I, co comedians and and regular people is just two different things I think in my opinion. But that's another rant for maybe another for my other channel. But I definitely think he should have been remained on the show. The character robbed, and they went through all this rigmarole of of having his face burnt and all this stupid stuff to excuse him being off the show. Just really stupid. Uh, really, really stupid. Uh, and when they just just should have made him apologize and stuff and, and then move forward with it, I think that would have been better because, again, he was one of the best parts of the show, that actor, who I initially didn't like the character coming on there, but he wa he won me over. The, act the actor himself won me over and that storyline, he just won me over and I really came to like him's character on the show uh ralph digging and i think again they could have done a spinoff with him and sue because i like the actress that played sue they had good chemistry together and they could have had a, a nice little spinoff the elongated man with them going to solve crimes and all that stuff and his ability to, to, to shape change into different people and stuff and her with her badass skills and it'd have been, it'd have been like a sort of heart to heart type of, type of situation like a you know they could definitely i could see the potential in that show right there elongated man could have been a nice show on the CW with you know, him and her. It could have been a great, and I think they probably would have done a backdoor pilot. I think they were gonna, I think they were shooting for that when the tweets thing came up. It's it's unfortunate. Again, I I just hope the actor gets. Hope he's not blackballed from acting, which it looks like he is, which I think is a shame. But anyway, I'm sorry about that rant. But that's how I felt about that's how I felt about the whole situation. But yeah, anyway, again, I'm gonna give the Flash a chance to see if it improves this season because if it do, if it's not i'm sorry eric rollis has to go if they want to keep that show going which i think they could you, you need a new showrunner i'm sorry if he doesn't if he spits the bed again this year's this season in terms of the flash I, i'm sorry I, I i'd fire him i say listen it's not working okay and i i said and i bring somebody else on if that's if i was a cw i have that in the back of my mind okay i would have sat him down the showrunner and tell him, listen, if this season doesn't improve, and I think that's what reason why they're having all these guest stars on this opening <laughs> season of Flash, you know, the five season, five episode arc with all these different guest stars. I think Superman's supposed to be on there, Black Lightning, uh, Green Owl's daughter, I think the Atom, uh, I forgot who else, somebody else is supposed to be on there. Oh, Batwoman too is supposed to be on there. So I think that's why they're doing that to try to pump up ratings for the Flash to draw interest to it because they know that they really kind of spit the bed so but i tell them listen if you don't this show doesn't improve okay 
you get the, we're gonna fire you and br I bring somebody else on, especially if you want to keep the character of the Flash going, because right now it's like the oldest show, because Supergirl is ending, and I think Flash is the longest running show on the network, and I think you can keep it going for a couple of more seasons, I think, and but you need better writing, because I mean, look at look at the the two other shows on the CW, Star Girl and uh, Superman and Lois, better writing on those shows with both of those shows. Those shows are better run and have better writing on them. I'm sorry. Those, that's what the, and if you can't get this guy, Eric Ross, to improve that, I'd get rid of him and, say, and hire, bring somebody else in and to do that. Because look, I think the guy that runs Superman and Lois used to run The Flash, okay? And if he could, I, I, I would really, I would pick his brain and tell him, listen, be on standby because if this Flash season eight goes south, we're going to fire this guy and we'll help you. Maybe you can help run both shows or something, whatever, because I'm sorry, this writing has just blown chunks okay for the flash for the past couple of seasons but anyway enough of that rant about the flash this turned into a rant about the flash okay okay um uh so yeah so what i'll do, come back i'll be doing my you know uh record my review of which i'll probably upload of the eternals tomorrow uh that and i gotta do my edited version of um doom patrol okay i'll do that and what else and probably got to do a video for my other channel, Paul's Views and Opinions. I got to see if I can do a couple of quick videos for that channel as well. Because I don't think I've put any content on there in about two weeks, I think. So I'll probably do that. So look forward to my review of the Eternals. Uh, my edited version of Doom Patrol. Which usually goes through. Usually doesn't get blocked. It usually goes through. Uh, okay. And, uh, and I'll probably do a couple of videos for my Paul's Views and Opinions channel. Like I said, all those will probably... The Doom Patrol episode will definitely go up today. Uh, uh, the Eternals review will probably go up tomorrow with my other videos for my Paul's Views and Opinions channel will go up tomorrow on my other channel. Okay, so that's it. And enough of my ranting. <laughs> I ranted, I think, about for like 10 minutes about The Flash, which is what wasn't my intention. Okay, but like I said, it's gotten, the weather has gotten cooler in the morning. It's, now it's been in the 40s and and the 50s for the day. I, gotta, I still got my air conditioner in the window, which I got to take out. I don't know why I keep... Normally I take it out by like October and stuff and I still, it's just laziness. I gotta probably take it out either today or tomorrow. I'll take it out the window, uh, my air conditioner, cause I don't, use, I'm not gonna turn it back on again, probably till like either May or June. <laughs> so I don't want it sitting in the window when it snows and all that stuff. I'm gonna take it out the window and you know, park it over here. But uh, what I'm also gonna do, I gotta put in my vacation time for the, uh, the week of the 13th. I got, I checked my schedule. I got like four days and a, a couple of hours so I'm, what I'm going to do is take the whole week off uh like I said I lost a lot of time when I was uh you know when I had COVID you know after my brother had died and I got COVID and I was home for like almost a month and stuff so they took part of that time away uh so I only got because normally I take like seven days in December you know I usually take like a week and a couple of days and come back in the middle of the week or something but it's okay because what I'll do is uh, I'll take that week of the 13th off and then those following two weeks, we only work like four and a half days because Christmas, I think, is at the end of the week. Do we work three and a half? Yeah, we work, actually we work three and a half days because we work, because uh, when I come back on the 20th, uh, we work 20th, 21st, 20th, wait, 20th, uh, 21st, 22nd, and 23rd. Oh, wait, hold on. Let me, let me see something. 20th. 21st, 22nd, 23rd, 24th. I'm trying to remember. I thought we get... i got to look at the schedule again because I think I'm I'm off. Wait, hold on. Today was the 5th, right? Yesterday was the 5th. Then the 12th, uh, 19th, 26th is Thanksgiving. Those two days that we're off. Uh, you know, 25th and 26th were off those two days. And then uh, 27th, 20th, 29th, 30th. Okay, first, second, third. Okay, third. Okay, tenth, seventeenth, and twenty. Yeah, it's twenty-four. Oh yeah, you know what it? I know what it is. That is, yeah, you know, it just came to me. <laughs> um, we're off. Um, uh, we get out early on the twenty-third uh, because because no, Christmas is on a Saturday. This. Yeah, so we get off the Friday. That's what it is. I, I was, I was throwing me off, uh, uh, what they're gonna do because Christmas is on Saturday this year and New Year's Day is on a Saturday. So what they're gonna do is, 
uh, we're going to get out early on that on that Thursday. Not, normally, it would be Christmas Eve that we get off early, half a day, but it's going to be the 23rd. We'll get off a half, we'll get out early on the 23rd, and we're off that Friday. Uh, we're off, they give us off that, that's what it is. They get off, we get off that Christmas Eve, we'll get off, and then the next week we get off the same thing. We'll get out early the day before um, New Year's Eve, and we'll get the, off New Year's Eve. So, so we do actually work like three and a half days, and we're off those two Fridays. So we kind of have a long weekend there, those three weeks, those two weeks after. Uh, the week I'm off on vacation. So that's the way it works. I know I was, excuse me, trying to figure out how that was, but I, I think that's how they explain it to us. Since the holidays on the weekend, they don't give us off that, you know, they give us off on New Year's Eve. New, New, we get off on uh, Christmas Eve and we're off on New Year's Eve. We're off, those for those two days we're off completely. And the day before those two days we get, we leave, we only work to one o'clock. That's what it is. I think that's the way it is. Yeah, I think that's the way it is. Because I don't think we, um, I think that's the way it is. Yeah, so that way we get nice three-day weekends, you know, two three-day weekends right in a row. Okay, so anyway, sorry I'm ranting. <laughs> anyway, um, hope everybody have a great weekend. Stay safe, be well, okay? Look for my view of the Eternals. Uh, Doom Patrol, my edited version of Doom Patrol. And also my Paul's Views and Opinions channel. I'm going to put a couple of videos on there as well. And again, follow links below to all my social media, Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and also um, a link below to my patron. And again, I want to say a special thank you to my patron. His name will appear in this video somewhere. I want to say thank you to him for supporting me. And again, my patron is only $5 a month. Tons of content, unedited content in there. Uh, Doom Patrol is in there, Season 3, Titan Season 3, What If, uh, The Mandalorian Season 2, The Boy Season 2, Lo uh, Loki, WandaVision, uh, Superman and Lois, a few episodes on there, and the finale is Falcon and the Winter Soldier, all four parts of Zack Snyder's Justice League. Okay, so follow the link below, five dollars a month for the patron, and again, give this video a thumbs up, it helps the channel, and this is Trey Pastor saying so long, and take care.